Sounds good. Let's do it, man. Perfect. Yep. Ring, ring. Love Hello. It. Ring, ring. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Um, this is Arturo. This is Arturo buys houses. Can I help you? Perfect. Yeah. Um, I'm calling you because I saw one of your signs on a poll. Um, and again, how do how do you guys work? Oh, great. Yeah. Well, how do you need how do you need us to work? We buy houses. You are you are you looking to sell a house? Yeah, I I think I have a house uh, that I'm interested in selling now, and it says here you guys buy a cash. Um, how how does how like how does the paperwork work or what's yeah. what's your process? Yeah, it's a purchase and sale agreement, just like uh, just like everybody else uses. But uh, really, we need to find out what what it is that you want to accomplish and uh, see if we can make an offer that makes sense. So what I'd like to do is ask you a few questions, let you ask me a few questions, and if it's not a good fit, you can tell me no, you can fire me. Does that make sense? Does that feel good? Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay, great. So what's the property address you're talking about? Okay, 123 Main Street. Okay, great. Uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna put that in, in my computer here. 123 Main Street. All right. 123 Main Street. Well, how long you live there and why are you wanting to sell it today? Okay. Uh, yeah. Again, I've lived there probably around 20 years. And um, again, I just want to, I just want to sell it. Again, I have another house. So I just don't want to make the payments on this no more. Oh, okay. I see. So you got two payments. You got a two payment problem, huh? That's, uh, yeah, that's what I have. I've been there, man. That second payment, man, once you move out of that house, it's like, it's like, uh, you w want to get rid of it no matter what you have to do. I mean, it's just a drain, right? Is that, that's how I felt. Is that how you feel about it? Yeah. Yeah. And th that's actually, it's hitting me because I had the, I had it in forbearance for the last three months and, and not having that payment, uh, oh, yeah. I felt real good. And then when I had to make it, I was like, ah, oh, it hurts. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll, oh yeah. I bet, man. Yeah. Um, is that, uh, is that something you're able to do or it, it, it's, is it more than uncomfortable? Oh no. Yeah. I can make it, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's definitely hurting me. I don't, I can, oh, okay. that, those basically are all my savings. I see. I see. So what do you, what do you need to get for this property and what do you think the property's worth? Okay. So let me just fill you in. Um, this property on estimate is 100. Uh, okay. On taxes, it's 80. I got to be around 50. Okay. For it to work. Okay. Okay. 50, 60. So again, um, okay. Yeah. Well, I do have a mortgage. Um, okay. I owe like, like, I think it was like 37. Um, so again, I know I'm just dreaming, but I can, I, I, I want around 70. 80, okay. 80, 70 to 80, 80 thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. 70 to 80. And, and you think it's worth about a hundred? Did you say, is that what you said, Arturo? Yeah, it's worth about, yeah, it's worth about a hundred, yeah. maybe and 90. You, and you need to get it at 50. Okay. Yeah. The investor has to get it. At 50. Okay. So, so you're going to need, uh, you're, you're telling me you need to get 70 out of it. How did you, how did you arrive at that number? Oh, I want to get again. I want to have a little bit of walk away money. Um, I know I owe, I owe 37, and when I bought it um, a while ago, so I still have a mortgage of 37,000. Yeah. I think 37, 38,000. So I do want to get a little bit of walk away money. But it, basically, I what I want is just stop making the payment. And, and uh -huh. again, if I can get a little bit of walk away okay. money, that, that works for me. Okay. So, how much repairs, what needs to be done to the place? Again, uh, I haven't done anything since I bought it. Uh, this house was done in '02, so it's it's a it's, a, it's 18 years old, um, but it's livable. Again, my mom lives there, uh, and I'm actually moving her to, moving her into my house. I haven't told her, but again, it's it's the time and place where I have to be closer to my mom uh, to make sure that she's safe. Yeah. Well, um, that makes sense, man, and I can totally uh, feel for you because I, my mom, I wish I was closer to her right now myself. Uh, so I, I get where you're at and, uh, 
and I, I guess I'm just curious as far as timing. I mean, you know, you, you called me because you saw one of my signs. By the way, where was the sign? Do you remember what sign you saw? Where was it when you saw it? Yeah, it was by uh, 10th Street and Alana. Okay, great. Great. Excellent. Hey, I appreciate you telling me that. Okay, well, timing-wise, if I was able to make an offer that worked for you and, and solved the, the, the payment issue and got you some walking money, would you be able to do that? with me today or or something you want to do next month or next year uh no i'm ready today uh the only thing that uh if we do okay. close and we do agree i just have to have a little bit of time to move my mom's stuff to my house that's, okay. that's it again but I'm, I'm but i'm ready to go on this okay when's your next payment due every first the first so a couple weeks okay yeah okay all right. Well, that, that makes sense. So you, you, you want to get out of the house. You want to get out of the payment. You want to have a little walking money. I think I understand your situation. Imagine if I was able to make the offer to you today and made, made all those uh, magic things happen for you. Uh, you didn't have a payment anymore. You didn't have to have uh, any concern about the house anymore. Uh, we would own that and you would have some walking money. Um, it, it, that's not what you're wanting to do, is it? That's exactly what I want to do. Okay. Okay. Is there anybody else that needs to be a part of the decision or just you? Just me. This house is only about myself. Okay. Well, Arturo, I can make that happen. Um, but honestly, my price range is going to be somewhere around, uh, some, depending on the condition of the house, it's going to be between 45 and 60. Okay. So, um, I'd, I'd love to come out and take a look at the place. If, if that feels like something that, that maybe you and I can work with, or maybe you want to tell me no and fire me now, what happens next? Okay. Um, I really want to be in, in the 70, $80,000 range. Um, don't you want to see it first and, and, and give me better, or maybe, maybe you're convinced that it's worth more than, than the 40 to 60 that you're offering. I would like to see it, but according to the property values in that neighborhood, that property um, is, I'm just not going to be able to go that deep. I can't, I can't spend that kind of money as a, as a home buyer and, and turn a profit in it. So um, if, if you're interested in, in me coming out and taking a look at the property, I can guarantee you that I'm probably going to be somewhere between that 50 to $60,000 range. So, um, I'd be happy to set an appointment with you today at, at 3.30, or we can call it over right now. It's up to you. You let me know. What happens next? Okay. Um, so, uh, if, again, I'll consider it, but what happens uh, if, if we do agree, how does the process work and everything? Yep. We'll close on that property, and you won't have to make that payment next month and you'll be able to walk away and you'll have cash in your pocket. Does that, does that seem like what you want to do? And can we go ahead and move forward or maybe not? Can you do 70 at least? Um, you know, you're, we're kind of speculating cause I haven't seen the property. But based on the age of the property and the value of the property, I'm just being honest with you. I'm not trying to play any games with you here or anything. Um, I'm just telling you, I'm 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 only going to be in that range there. It sounds like it sounds like you'd like to fire me, but I'd I'd really like to write you a check here real soon and get you paid. But but if you need to fire me, it's okay. Or we can meet today at three thirty. You tell me what happens next. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess you can come in and, and come see it. And okay, um, that, that should work. Great. Now, if I come at three 30 and I bring the paperwork with me and I take a look at the property and I'm able to sit down with you right there and make an offer that you're comfortable with, are you in a position to be able to go ahead and move forward with me today? Yes. Okay, great. I'll see you at three 30. Perfect. Right. That, that's exactly what I want. All right. Critique me, man. Right tell here. me, tell me how I could have fucking been better though. Critique me. Sorry. You're breaking up. Sorry. My no, signal is not that great. Man. I was just saying critique me. Tell me how I could have been better. 
No, I, I need to be like you. Uh, little, a couple of things that, that I meant that you mentioned that I didn't mention uh, as far as uh, according to the property values in that area. Um, and again, I wish I could go that deep, but I can't go that deep and, 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 uh, and make this work for me. Um, going back, you know what? I had to be with this new range. Uh, it sounds like you want to fire me. That, those mm -hmm. are awesome things. And basically, yeah. the good thing you recorded it because I, I couldn't record it for my <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you can just send it to me. That's awesome. Yeah. That's perfect, perfect thing that I wanted to hear because sometimes I skip over those things. I get to the same point, but I could have shown in the car because the car went from a, it went to a 25 minute car. They could have yeah. done maybe in, in yeah, yeah, in 5, 10. Yeah, and push her to, to fire me. Push her to fire me. But she she, she wanted me. And that's a deal that I got and that I was telling you. On. Well, that's another deal that I got yesterday. That sounds like a good one, man. Uh, did you ink it? Yeah, it's a good. <laughs> All right. So tomorrow, uh, uh, she sent me pictures. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go get it and get it done. I didn't go to school okay. because her mom's okay. elderly. Like, well, give your mom another way yeah. so I don't have to be with her yeah. at the same time frame yeah. we're there with all this that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, with this guy though, I, or, or this gal, I might even say, uh, you know, of course you want to emphasize the speed, like, you know, we're going to be able to close on this in 10 days or whatever your number is. And, uh, you know, the payment next month, don't worry about that. Also, if I give you an extra two weeks to get your things out of the property, would that be something that makes you feel even more comfortable? And can we, you know, in other words, I'll give you an extra two weeks to, to get this shit moved out. Cause remember that was a, question that that was there i have to i have to move my mom's yeah. stuff out yeah it's good but yeah th that's exactly what i wanted to hear because again you have more of a of a flow that i love uh, so i need to hear that so i can yeah. record this keep on playing it and hear it again thank you dude i appreciate it you stroke me I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go on to another one that i have um, okay this deal the background on this deal i spoke to this lady in January. Okay. She had a she had a listed for sale at two oh five. Right now she has a listed for sale at one ninety five. Okay. In January I had offered her one fifty. Now the the situation changed and now she still wants she's willing to do terms with me with sixty K down. But I told her, Whoa, well, I'd rather just buy it. And the right. max that I can do on this property based on the condition, based on the area and based on what's going on right now, it's actually 100, 82, like maybe 120. And then she came back to me, well, last time we spoke, it was 150. And I told her, yeah, that was last time. Now, <laughs> crazy now that I don't know if I'm going to sit on this property for 10, a year when nobody yeah. qualifies. Yeah. And uh, I offer, again, that might be a deal that I want to bring you in if she's willing to do the lease options. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. You know, uh, it sounds like a, that would probably be a, a great opportunity for one because she is wanting more money than what you can squeeze into the deal. And then, you know, she seems pretty motivated too. So that might be yeah. a, a great, a great opportunity for a lease option. Can't sandwich it in Texas though, yeah. man. And the, No, yeah, you can't sandwich it. The max, uh, down payment that I offer her was around 10. Like, I can't do 60. She wanted 60. It's crazy. I'd rather just buy it all cash. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so let, let, let's go into that. Let's go into that one and, and let's see how you rebuttal. Whoa, well, last thing you told me you wanted 50. Now you want your 120. Yeah. What's going on? Okay. And again, I wanted 60K down. And then the max you can do is, is it's 10K. And uh, it's been listed for almost a year and a half. Almost a year, actually. Close to you. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Uh, uh, ring, ring. Now I'm calling you. I'm following up with you that I, I'm calling you again. Okay, hello? Hey, Justin. Um, I don't know if you remember me. We had spoken about my property <clears throat> about eight months ago uh, on 39th Street. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. How you been? I, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Um uh, <clears throat> I still have it listed. Uh, I decreased the price at 195 uh, to 185 from 205. Um, you have again, it. You have it listed. Do you you mean with a realtor? Yeah, I, yeah with a realtor. Okay. But um, she never got me got me a, a buyer again. It's it's just been sitting there. Why did she not get you a buyer? 
I don't know. I, again, I, I do get showings, but I don't get no offers. Why, um, why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. Again, the, the house is beautiful. Again, it's clean. Um, huh. It might not be upgraded as other ones in the area. Um, but again, it's, it's a nice house. It's priced, priced good. Uh, yeah. I know you told me last time that 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 uh, you can do uh, 150. Can you do 165 right now, cash? Oh uh, no! Oh no! Uh uh. Mm -mm. Couldn't couldn't do that. Um, why do why do you ask? Why do you ask that number? Uh, again, that's the price that I, that I'm willing to let it go at 165 <laughs> now. I know it's been listed for a long time again, and I know I'm taking the loss, but. Uh, Again, I, I need to pay some bills on other stuff yeah. that I got to put money on. Um, yeah. And that's why I asked you for at least a, a 70K down payment last time. And I was willing to, yeah. to hold the note for, for maybe three years. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I wasn't able to uh, be a good fit for you back then. Um, and um, unless things are, are different as far as the numbers go, I'm, I'm not really probably going to be a good fit for you now. Have you considered listing it with another realtor? No, I don't want to do that anymore. Um, again, okay. I'd rather just not not pay the commission. Okay. You know, I got to pay commissions and stuff like that. Yeah, I can I can give you cash, but it's it's really going to be closer to the uh, you know somewhere between eighty and one hundred and twenty thousand. Whoa! What happened? You had told me last time that at, at one fifty, it, it it might work for you. Okay. Well, what what would you like to see happen by the end of this call? You called me. What what would you like to see happen? What's best case scenario for you you and me talking right now? Best case scenario, I get cash in my pocket and I don't have to worry about this property no more. I got to pay some bills on the back okay. end from from the cash that I get from this house. Okay. And I just want to get rid of it. And how much cash are we talking about? Well, again, I was willing to let it go for 150, 160 cash today. Um, again, if you're willing to do terms, if you can't get the 150, 160, I can maybe owner finance it to you because I don't know it. Uh, I can I, with 70, 60k down. Yeah, I don't know if that works for you. Uh, can't do cash. Could do owner finance, but can't do that much down. I mean, is there anything more reasonable that we can talk about as far as down payment goes? Um, that's 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 almost 50 percent down. That's it's just a you know. It's unheard of, I'm, and I just can't do it. I, I wish I could. I want to. Can't do it. Is there anything more reasonable that we can talk about about that? Okay. Or so, if, again, if, if you do give the down payment, like, were you trying to live on it, live in it, or were you trying to maybe get that down payment from somebody else? Or No, man. I, I am a, I'm a real estate investor, so I'm not planning on living in the home. Here's what I want to do. I want to put some good people in that home. And I want to make a little bit of money doing it. I'm not going to get rich, but I want to make a little money doing it. But I also want it to be a fair solution for you. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah, it's, it seems reasonable. You don't think you can get maybe uh, 50, 60K from, from the tenant? That if you get a, uh, somebody else to live in there? Not a chance. Not a chance. Not a chance. It's a losing proposition for me. If you're, if you were, if you would be willing to, I would be willing to to close quickly with you. We would, be, matter of fact, we'd take over pretty much immediately. Um, but what what we could do is, is we could uh, do a, a creative a situation like that, and we might be able to put five grand in your pocket when we exchange keys. But that's that's about it. Is is that something we can talk about, or is this is this over? Okay, so if Again, sounds interesting. If if you were to get put, let's say, five k in my in my pocket, do I get the purchase price of one ninety five, or where are you at with purchase price? Well, what is the house worth? I, I forgot what you told me, man. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. A fair value in this house is probably like one eighty nine, one ninety. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, one ninety. Um, hmm. You know, I agree with you that it should be more than the 150 you were just talking about. And if I'm if I'm willing to go up like that and give you 5k, that's something you're you're comfortable with and we can go ahead and do business today. 
yeah, uh, I would just want you to come over with my, uh, sit down with my husband and again, if you can bring some paperwork and as far as how it works and everything, uh, okay. we might consider it. Okay. I've got to do some research myself and I've got to find out if this property is worth 185 or 190 and we'll come, we'll come to an agreement somewhere in that neighborhood. Is that, is that fair? If, if I come over this afternoon and your husband and you are there and, and I can present to you uh, an agreement that, that does this, are you guys going to be in a position to do business with me? And you say the max down payment is five thousand. You say you can, that's the max you can do. Five thousand dollars. That's kind of tight for us. And how soon will you pay the difference? How soon do you want me to pay the difference? Again, for for me, again, in, in maybe three months. How about twenty four months? 24 months. Um, okay. That, that, that might work. Um, let me see. And what are we talking about? As far as far, are you paying me monthly or, or where yes. am I getting a month? Yes. And, um, I, we, and are we, you we, taking responsibility of the property? Correct. Maintenance of the property will be our responsibility. The payment would be our responsibility. We would be making a payment to you to cover your mortgage payment. And so what, what monthly amount is that you, you, you tell me? Well, it's, it's paid for. So I don't have, uh, okay. the only thing that I pay is, is the insurance and the taxes. So you, okay. Again. Okay. So uh, that's probably, okay. If you add it and divide it by 12 months, uh, and taxes and insurance is probably around 500 bucks. Okay. All right. So if I change the uh, agreement to read that we will, um, put $5,000 in your pocket. We have it set at purchase price at estimated 185. And not only that, but your maintenance and all those issues are, are no longer on you. They'll be on us. And we send you $500 a month with those things in the agreement. And will your husband and you be there today at 3.30? And, and if you're, if you're comfortable with it and I'm comfortable with it, are, are we in a position to move forward? Yes, no, or, or what, <laughs> what happens next? Um, it's a, again, well, if you give me the 500 bucks, I, I'm not making any money on it because that, that goes to the tax part. Now, what's my cash flow on this? Um, now this house, you can probably rent it for around 1700 bucks a month, just okay. a little. Okay. Um, background info. Okay. So I want to well, make a little bit of money. How much? Uh, how much while money? Hold the mortgage. How much money is a little bit of money? What do you need? So you're getting me five. Can you do in my pocket after the five hundred bucks? Can you do an extra maybe seven hundred? Um, if I did it, if, if I if I change the agreement to where it says all these things we were talking about, plus plus $1,000 a month. That's the 500 plus another 500. So that's a thousand a month. Is that something you guys would be comfortable with? And can we go ahead and, and move forward? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can see that. Um, we can give you a decision that day. Uh, okay. Once you come and sit down with my husband. Then we'll be there at three 30. That sounds good. Okay, cool. All right. Perfect. Now, on that. Okay. On that one. Um, just reviewing what I would have done as far as, um, sorry, I'm, I'm, there's a cop in front of me. I just lost my train of thought. Um, the things that I would have uh, asked, double down on, is, was it? Yeah, I forgot. Sorry, there's a cop. There's something happening in front of me. Um, it's all right, man. What was I gonna say? When you mention, uh, okay, so let's say you can owner finance it or you can lease it for 1700. Um, and let's say 1500 is, is, is the best bet. Um, well, you see that I, again, I'm just rambling. I, okay. This shit got my, my train of thought went crazy. Okay. But again, so, overall, it's good. Um, yeah. You did much better than me as far as qualifying and getting a commitment. If I go to your house and if this works, yeah. Uh, yeah. are you guys willing to do the, do the closing? Yeah. 
Um, the, as far as the contract, the paperwork, you, you did great on that part. Um, what else did you mention that I like? Uh, how the intro and everything, how you couldn't do anything. Again, when you, again, you didn't go into it, but when I asked you, well, you told me eight months ago that you can do 150, now you can only do 80 to, a, to 120. I brought I didn't, well, yeah, I think why I tell my sellers that uh, this offer is probably good for maybe five days. Yeah. Because you never know what's going to happen. Right. Um, what I also told her, well, it sounds right. like uh, you have it listed for, for, for 185. How come you just don't reduce it for 170? Maybe somebody comes in and, and, and uh, gives you the whole cash. Mm -hmm. So little yeah. things like that that I brought in, as far as I know for a fact, she didn't want to get it listed with another agent. Uh, that agent hasn't given any offers. Uh, one thing that I mentioned, like, well, you say you have it listed for, for, for a while now. Do you, and I asked her, do you think it's overpriced? Because it seems right. like everybody's yeah. coming seeing it. Yeah. And, and there's people that are buying houses left and right, but they're not just not buying. They're not buying. Right. Houses. Right. That's what I was getting at. Do you at. think maybe, yeah. exactly. maybe is it overpriced? Yeah. You're right. Exactly. And why don't, yeah. Why, why don't you list it with yeah. another realtor? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I did tell her, you know, again, when I resell my properties, um, again, it's like you got to get the best salesman out there. Yeah. And it's a realtor. Yeah. And in order for that realtor to be motivated, you got to pay her 6%. It, again, it, that's the nature right. of the beast. <laughs> right. Okay. You can't assume someone's going to work hard for 1%. Right. Exactly. So I kind of threw those things in there uh, just to dig the pain in. Because I know for a fact that house is probably worth like one, 180, 189 yeah. in pocket. Yeah. But she's selling with an agent, so she's netting. I told her, "Well, if you sell it, if you do get a cash price right now at a one ninety five with a with the agent, you're probably netting one seventy. Yeah, so the rest goes to the closing fees and everything. Exactly. Um, so yeah, you did great at that part as far as just keeping it back. No, I can't. And you were blunt. No, I can't. I can't do that. I yeah, can't. I exactly. can't pay that much. Can't do it. Yeah, can't do it. You can't do it. So overall, it's good. Just again, um, let's say that. As far as that, you want, you want an extra $500 cash flow. Uh, if, if let's say, um, okay, she didn't mention interest. What if she tells me, well, how much interest are you paying me? Yeah, how much interest do you feel like you have to have? I always put well, it back on them. Okay. And if they say, let's say, I want a 7% interest rate. Oh, my. That's a, that's a lot. How, how did you arrive at that number? Okay. Well, banks are lending at five, at four, maybe four. Um, I'm taking the risk. So I want to get a little bit more, get compensated for it. Okay. I, I understand you want a little more, but um, I mean, that, that doesn't make sense. I could go get the loan at the bank cheaper. Um, uh, okay, if I were to change the agreement to read that you get instead of the three percent that the banks get, we give you a three plus one, so you get four. Would that make you feel comfortable? Could we go ahead and move forward? Okay, that's that's good. That 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 you brought in, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That that you, that you brought in that part. Oh, another thing that I'm actually um, from the from the previous call that we did earlier where he said, well, at 160, I can just go to the loan, go to the bank and get yeah. a loan. Yeah. What would you have said to that? Well, yeah, if, if she had that 160, I can go myself and get a loan and get a home equity loan and keep it. What would be your rebuttal? Why don't you? Well, um, again, I don't want to go through all that hassle. Okay. I understand. Yeah. So let's take that idea off the table. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's awesome. That, that's what I would have told them. I just <laughs> because on this one, I know she could have told me that. That she could have told me that. Well, I could just get a loan for one fifty. Like, well, I know you can't. How, how come you haven't? Yeah, exactly. Make them answer their own dumb questions and stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So again, these two role plays, I love them. I love them. I love them. Uh, all right, brother. I love you, dude. All right, man, just uh, send me the link once you're done and everything uploaded. Yeah, I'll take care of it, man. I'll send it to you. Good role play, you man. Say, Justin. Thank you. I, I always love role playing with you, man. Th thanks for being here. <laughs> Likewise, my brother. All right. Bye-bye, sir.